don't we all love charts? I love my charts. But you know, my charts are kind of very different. Because I combine potatoes, sweet potatoes, arbi. And guess what? I like to combine fruits. Everybody is eating a fruit chart. But mine is called a stone fruit chart. Let's make a very quick chart. I've got some arbi, colocasia, which I have boiled and cooled down and peeled. So I've got these small, chote new potatoes, similarly boiled. Now I've got some diced peaches going in there as well. Cherries which have been pitted and cut into two. So we've got nice cherries going into that as well. I've got some fresh apricots, zardalu, okay, which I'm going to just slice them and put them inside. So you're going to get a very nice, sweet, sourish flavor coming from all these stone fruits. Some chopped spring onions inside. Thode se bari kate hue piyaz, vichy, make a little spicy. Some black salt, some chaat masala, all ready made. Some roasted, freshly roasted and freshly ground jeera powder. A little bit of red chili powder juice of quarter of a lemon and we give this a nice mix now ideally a chart it will be nice to serve this chart nice and chilled so it's a great party snack you can actually make this a little time ahead and then what you can do is keep it in the fridge nice lovely chart made fresh for you in your home Spring onions, my stone food chart just for you is ready. Everybody loves rice, but I love brown rice because brown rice, I love that whole mouth feel to that rice, that bite, that nutty flavor, and of course, very, very healthy for you. I also like to experiment different kinds of combinations with rice. Okay, like today I've got some shiitake mushrooms, the dried ones which I picked up in the market. And I got some button mushrooms, I've got some mooli, yes, radish, that also goes into the rice. Along with a touch of coconut milk, so I've got a very kind of modern Asian influence to this rice. Okay, so let's start cooking. So I've got a nice tablespoon of olive oil in here. We're going to be adding some chopped onions, a little bit of chopped ginger. Just give that little base flavor to it, right? Then I've got some shiitake mushrooms, okay? These are mushrooms which you get in their dried form. And then what we do is we put them in water, we rehydrate them, and I use this water. I call it the mushroom stock as a flavoring for this rice. So in go the shiitake mushrooms. Your regular button mushrooms as well. Nicely sweated out. All the flavor from the mushrooms is going to come out. A little chopped green chili, some mooli, radish. So you've got the earthiness of the mushrooms, you've got ginger, you've got onions, then you've got the radish. So there's a lots of things going on in this rice. So once these vegetables are kind of soft, I mean not completely mushy, but I want that bite in this vegetable. Thoda sa salt. And I'm adding just a touch of some garam masala powder into this. Good kick in the flavor. And then I'm going to be adding a couple of spoons of coconut milk into this. And finally, we've got to put this cooked brown rice and very, very gently mix everything in. Very simply, very, very nicely. Next, a little bit of black pepper, a little bit of salt, some fresh coriander. And I've got some muli ke patte, radish leaves, which I'm going to be adding into the rice as well. Nicely mixed up. And our mushroom rice is ready. It makes a great snack if you want to quickly make it, eat it at home, carry it in your tiffin box, give it to your kids in school, and then you can get absolutely creative with rice. If you really want to know some really good recipes with rice, just ask me. And now it's time to plate it up. Some coriander all around, a few sprouts beetroot, methi, mustard, all around flavoring your rice. And here we go, our mushroom and radish brown rice ready for you.